Hey guys, um, welcome back to the dev chat. And today we are going to be messing around with WebKit inside Sudraw. And um, it's very interesting, it's, it's literally like one line of code. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really simple to add WebKit inside your app. And basically, you don't, your users actually never leave your app, which is super dope about this inside swift and swift you are but the first thing we are going to do is import indeed webkit so basically we are going to have a navigation view which then will contain a v stack itself well we're just going to drop some text in here for now hello so there is a couple of things that we need to do in here. The first we can just have a navigation bar title and let's say web kit. Um, so there is a couple of things that we need to do in here that will allow us to Pull down a web request. Okay, so we are going to create a struct which is going to say web kit. Um, this is going to be a UI view responsible. I'm going to say let request re let request equal URL request. Okay, now we're going to say func um, make you I me. A con. Hopefully, I don't have to write all this out. Context is a UI view responsible context. Where is that? Scroll all the way down. See, we can see it. Um, I'm gonna have to write a little bit more out. WK web view drop this down and we are then going to return the W WK web view itself and then we're gonna have another function funk, that will then update And what we want this actually to be is just rid of this line. Um, and just say context. Okay. And then we're going to put your, my capitals, your view, which is the WK web view dot load. And we're going to say request, which is this right here. And we should be good to go to now dive back into the VStack. Um, so we're going to get rid of this text anyway, and we're going to say web kit, and it's going to pass in a request. For a URL, I'm going to say URL request 
just gonna request a proper URL, like a real one, obviously. <laughs> URL, which is going to be a URL, which is going to be type string, which if I just turn that caps lock up string, right, so this needs to be and we're gonna awesome wrap this as well so i have got the apple website loaded on the brand new iphone 11 pro or the iphone 11 which pretty cool and the um watch series 5 look at all the fun things apple are doing and we are just going to copy this in here, drew out and, and copy and paste this in here. Okay. So, I mean, we can change this now, but let's see if this actually works. All is good so far. Well, we'll have to enter the actual preview to see if it is unloaded properly, and there is. And that's our web view done here in Swift UI. Um, that's pretty much it, really, guys. Um, yeah, that's WebKit done with Swift UI. Um, that's it, really. Simple, easy. Um, adding WebKit into your um, Swift UI apps. And I uh, hope you have found this tutorial useful, guys. Hit that like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, um, comment um, if you've got any questions on your own projects or if you have got some tutorials that you would like me to do on Swift UI, then I am. Happy to help you guys, and as always, stay crave. Let's crush it, and I'll see you in the next video.